They have done it. A brand new and incredible trailer for Marvel Spider-Man 2 is here, and I'm here to break it all down for you guys. So let's dive on in. Now, first and foremost, I want to just take a moment and play the trailer. It's a quick one, but it is one heck of a roller coaster ride, so enjoy. Something else. I need your help. Are you sure this isn't something you can handle yourself? <laughs> Sure. Miles, this is crazy! We call it a symbiote. And it chose you. Get it off of him! Ready for your annual physical? I'm the hero here. Not you. What the hell's going on with me? You're not yourself. Uh, you want to join us? He's here. Walk down the whole building! I know I can snap him out of this! We can fight this together! So now let's get into the in-depth breakdown side of things. And right off the bat, we get three great sequences of action. One for Peter, one for Miles, and one for Venom. Interesting to consider that two out of the three shown characters here are confirmed playable characters, which does make you wonder whether or not this is a possible tease of Venom being a playable character as well. What follows next is a great slingshot of Peter Parker's Spider-Man, and then we get a shot of Miles Morales seemingly making his way into a Craven Hunter base, where he seems to be completely surrounded by countless of Craven's army. And this moment really communicates very well just how much of a force Craven is bringing to New York City. We then get another beautiful, glorious shot of Miles Morales rocking the web wings, and then we get into exciting new stuff. First, we're greeted to a meeting with Miles and what can best be described as, I guess, Professor Peter Parker, because it's clear that the rumor that Peter is now a full-time teacher is absolutely true. And it seems like Miles has come to him to ask for help with some problem or I guess technically problems that he seemingly can't handle on his own. And then we get a showcase of these problems, beginning with Miles flying through a glass window in what seems to be a sequence and a part of the Sandman boss battle, which we'll talk about a lot in a moment. Then we get a really interesting shot of Miles seemingly in either a dream or a hallucination type sequence reaching towards his mother, Rio Morales, who seems to be walking away from him along with another character. Now, there's a lot of speculations of who that character with Rio might be, with some people believing that it is Martin Lee or Mysterio. To me, I simply have no clue. Clearly, it will be a character of significance in terms of drawing Rio Morales away from Miles Morales. So maybe this is some sort of like a nightmare sequence, or it could be something that is actually happening in Miles' life that feels like a challenge that he needs to conquer. But no matter who it actually is, it is interesting to speculate whether this is possibly a hallucination courtesy of a returning Scorpion, maybe a setup by Mysterio, maybe somehow related to Martin Lee. And at the end of the day, no matter what, I just like the idea of teasing this additional plot line for Miles to explore. And speaking of Miles, courtesy of this trailer, we obviously get our first confirmation that Martin Lee and Miles will definitely do battle. And it looks like Martin Lee might actually be a boss fight, at least just the way that this element of the trailer is shot. It certainly seems like it would be a part of a boss fight type sequence. And I'm just simply very excited to see these two go at it, especially because of all the history between the two, with Martin Lee being the man that took Miles' dad away from him. I feel like there's going to be a lot of emotional resonance during this fight. Next, we get to see the thing I'm most excited about from this particular trailer, and that is the confirmation of the Sandman. And boy, he looks incredible. Just the sheer scale of Sandman seems to imply that this will be one of the most impressive and largest boss fights in the history of the Marvel Spider-Man series. I mean, just look at the scale of Sandman when compared to Peter and Miles here. And I know you might want to ask me if I'm sure about that. And well, I guess I'll let Miles handle this. I'm sure. We then 
once again get an idea of just how large Sandman really will be with him towering over buildings in New York and his hand is so large that Peter can perform that cool zip through move right through it. So again, just a really, really impressive looking boss fight to say the least. It is also interesting to point out that during the second shot in this battle with Sandman, Miles is seen webbing towards him, but for some reason his webbing is black here. Could this possibly be a confirmation that Miles bonds with the symbiote at some point as well? Or maybe this is simply a lighting moment where the way that the light bounces off the sand or something like that, it just looks the way that it does. Nevertheless, as I've said, this will most definitely seemingly be a very, very huge, literally huge part in Marvel Spider-Man 2. And speaking of playing a huge part, you guys play a huge part in my success. So if you guys could take a quick moment and hit the thumbs up button for today's video, that would be very, very much appreciated. Thank you guys so very much for all of your continued support. Next, we get another shot of Peter Parker Spider-Man delivering a finishing move at Coney Island, where we also do get a nice shot of the Speed Demon roller coaster once again, which is of course a reference to the Marvel character by the same name. And remember, Coney Island as a whole is going to be filled with lots of things to do because it has been confirmed by Insomniac Games themselves that we will be able to ride a lot of the rides and just have a ton of mini games to interact with while spending time at Coney Island. So it sounds like it will be a very fun part of the map. What follows next is really interesting because it looks like a symbiote is actually engulfing Peter Parker's Spider-Man, but... Here's where it becomes very interesting because he already seems to be in the symbiote attire. So in this shot, it almost looks like there's an extra layer forming on top of him. And this has made some of us believe that what we may be seeing here is actually Peter Parker's morphing sequence into Venom. It is also interesting that during the sequence, we hear someone narrate the trailer. And by the way that it is narrated, I think that this is most likely Dr. Kurt Connors explaining how the symbiote works in terms of it selecting its host. Along with this narration, we also get another great shot of symbiote Spider-Man delivering a finishing move on one of the larger Craven Hunchmen. We then get this really beautiful, moody, cinematic shot of symbiote Spider-Man in the rain, and that has to be an homage to that iconic shot from the comics of symbiote Spider-Man in the Craven's Last Hunt storyline. We get a really powerful shot of Norman here. It off of him. Norman looks like he is worried about someone being possessed by possibly the symbiote. Most likely that would be his son, Harry. But additionally, I also like that we get a look at Norman's goons here because they were present in the previous story trailer where we saw them approaching that symbiote when it seemingly at least originally landed on Earth within this Insomniac Gamerverse. We then see Peter and Lizard square off once more and a beautiful finishing move from Miles Morales where I love that we can see some of his evolved Venom Shock running through the lines of his webbing. Just a really neat effect. What follows next is a very tense scene between Peter, Harry, and what looks like MJ, where Peter and MJ seem to be arguing with Peter letting her know that he is the hero here. And clearly, it seems like Harry at the same time is very, very ill at this point in the game. I mean, look at his eyes. Look at how pale he seems. And once again, he seems to require the help of his walking cane just to be able to get around. We've seen Peter be rude to Miles before, but this is actually the first time that we see him be quite adversarial towards MJ. I also like the detail of him wearing the dark sweater to tease the newer, darker attitude he has because of his newly found bond with the symbiote. We then get another cool shot of the interior of the Emily May Foundation where the particle accelerator is located. And what follows that is a really cool shot of Peter seemingly knocked out. And it is particularly interesting to see the design of the spider on his chest here, which seems to be much more so resembling the one that we see on Venom, or I guess Peter also when he's using his symbiote surge ability. We also see that MJ is completely terrified by Peter here. And it seems like this is all part of that same sequence that we have seen in the previous trailer, just based on the lighting that we see here and the overall design of this scene. We then get to see someone embrace the symbiote and the symbiote doing the same in return. And I've seen people speculate about whom this might be, but based on the lack of details in the shots, I believe that this is just pure speculation 
It's really hard to decipher whose hand this might be. It does look like a laboratory. So when we think of characters that spend time in laboratories in the context of this story, that would make sense that this could be Norman, this could be Peter, this could be Harry, this could be Kurt Connors, I suppose. And so it's really hard to decide whose hand this might actually be. We then get another epic shot of Venom landing with an immense force. Interestingly, it looks like there's actually a church also in the background in what may once again be an homage or reference to the comics where the symbiote and Peter actually first lose their bond, but also it is where we see Eddie Brock and the symbiote bond for the first time. And that is when the character of Venom is actually quote unquote born. So could this be a similar area in the game where we see Venom get created in a similar sort of setting. The next shot sees MJ looking absolutely terrified again as she announces that he's here, seemingly indicating that Venom has arrived. But even more so exciting is the fact that we get to see Kurt Connors for the first time in his human or non-lizard form, I guess. And it seems like he has a pretty giant black eye. So I guess maybe he's been in some sort of a fight as a human or maybe some of his scars and damage that he incurs as lizards then transfers back to his human form but i also really like that we get this view of him because it does confirm that he is most likely the first person to make contact with the symbiote when it crash lands because once again as i referenced those oscorp goons a little earlier he is part of that story trailer where we see him walking towards the symbiote when it originally crash lands on earth we then get another incredible showcase of just how much of a force and menace venom will actually be as he takes enemy fire from one of craven's helicopters like it's no big deal whatsoever and at least to me it seems like this is kind of an indication that as much as we expect venom to go after our spider-mans Venom and Craven are definitely not on the same side, and it does look like they will be coming across one another, or at least their paths will cross. And who knows, maybe that leads to a clash between those two as well. We then get another very cinematic shot where we see Miles seemingly descending into the Martin Lee negative zone. Venom is then seen sliding down the side of what seems like an elevator shaft, possibly. Once again, just looking incredibly stylish. They really nailed the design for Venom here. We witness MJ attempt her best Akira motorcycle slide, and the focus on MJ in this trailer in particular, just in general, it's very interesting because it feels like she has been a character that has been overlooked in all the other trailers up until this point. But this trailer, at least to me, clearly communicates that MJ will be a major part of the story, particularly when it comes to the big E dramatic moments. We then get another shot of Miles and Sandman, with Sandman seeming actually a lot smaller in scale compared to his other appearances throughout this trailer, followed by a great heroic shot of our two Spidey swinging off screen. And then finally, the trailer ends on an absolutely monstrous and incredibly sinister shot of Venom. So there you have it, guys. That is the launch trailer for Marvel's Spider-Man 2. A lot to be excited about, a lot to discuss here. Of course, the confirmation of a brand new villain in Sandman is so freaking cool, and I cannot wait for October 20th to arrive. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will, of course, hopefully see you guys here on the next one. Peace out. See y'all laters. Alligators.